Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 6th of September. Ooh, it's kind of spooky, doesn't it? Yeah, we're, no commercial power here. It's in the dark uh, using a, a iPhone light, a 3G card, battery power. But hey, the show must go on. Uh, let's uh, talk about it. First off, uh, this is a look at the uh, damage from Pinson Valley High School last night. Uh, some of the most significant damage, the uh, uh, roof of the auditorium there. Uh, collapsed, and uh, a lot of schools are on a delay or are closed today. And again, just check the uh, 3340 uh, site for all of that. But again, it's our mission here to talk about future weather, so let's get in there and do that. This is the water vapor satellite shot. And again, this the upper trough that's uh, picked up Lee is right over us. And really, I think that is going to keep us cloudy and drizzly and very cool today. You know, it, I was, uh, you know, yesterday morning we were somewhat optimistic over the sun maybe breaking out this afternoon. I don't think so. Uh, there's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. It's cloudy, cool, and light rain is falling. A little drizzle and, and mist in most areas. Uh, here's the uh, Jasper Sky Cam. Of course, the rain numbers yesterday were just huge. Uh, rain amounts of four to eight inches were common across the state and that's just 24 hour you know totals i'm sure some of the storm totals were over 10 inches with lee and from inverness uh, again you can see a little light drizzle and uh, looking down the 280 corridor this is at 511 it looks like there's a, a decent amount of power on through there uh, but again uh, it's a lot of folks are in the dark as i am here this morning we'll check the uh, numbers and boy that's one positive here how about that Look at all those 50s. The heat, just like a big switch was hit. Uh, the 90s gone, at least for this week. Uh, 55 at Haleyville, 56 for Cullman, Birmingham, 59. And look with the clouds and drizzle and, you know, some light rain. I don't think we get past the low 60s today. We might sit there most all day long. This will be clearly our coolest day since the spring. And around the nation, I see some sub-freezing numbers up there in Canada with some 30s dipping down into the Great Lakes. Feels more like winter up there. And uh, this week is going to be so refreshing. Today, again, uh, you know, low to mid-60s, and that's it. Uh, we ought to be in the upper 80s this time of the year. We're talking temperatures way over 20 degrees below average. And, you know, we'll have warm days, but today will be pretty amazing feeling. But the rest of the week, we're still talking highs only in the 70s. Uh, there's the uh, watch warning map. All of the uh, serious issues with uh, the remnants of Lee are northeast of here. Flash flood watches, a, a severe weather box over there. And the counties in Alabama highlighted that's a wind advisory for the uh, uh, breeze coming around the backside of the system. And there's the radar at 512, and that's just, uh, you know, drizzle and a little light rain in West Alabama. And, and it's going to be that kind of day today, clouds and some drizzle and just cool. Convective outlook at a slight risk of severe weather to the uh, east over North Carolina and some of the adjacent states. And this is the rain for the next five days. Now, this takes into account the rain we had last night with Lee, so really from this morning on, I don't think it rains much for the next five days. A little light rain or drizzle today. And then uh, beyond that, significant rain not looking likely for the next five to seven days. Uh, there's a look at the tropics. Uh, Katia, pretty formidable hurricane, is uh, well north of Puerto Rico, and that's going to be a recurver. Keep an eye on that uh, big wave in the eastern Atlantic. That could uh, become Maria. Katia packing sustained winds of 125 miles an hour. This is a major hurricane, but it's going to be a recurver. The confidence is pretty high. This track is correct from the Hurricane Center. Uh, best possible scenario, it's coming between Bermuda and the United States. At one point, there was fear this might be pretty close to Bermuda, but again, uh, it's taking that track between that island and the East Coast, and it'll be on out to the North Atlantic by uh, next weekend. And there's a look at the uh, wave out in the eastern Atlantic that could become Maria. And this one uh, models pretty good agreement. This should not be a Gulf storm. You know the deal when they go north of Puerto Rico, traditionally they're not a Gulf problem. They can be, but the, traditionally they're not. They're either a recurver or they affect the east coast. And I'll tell you now, the GFS recurves this one, and I think it's right. We'll look at longer range modeling here in just a bit. Interesting enough, the intensity uh, models are not that aggressive. They basically keep this a tropical storm for the next five days. Some uh, bring it to minimal hurricane strength, but it seems like there is a, a degree of shear out there in the basin that 
will prevent this from being a major hurricane initially. And also maybe some upwelling from uh, uh, Katia out there or Katia. But we'll watch it. But again, I don't think that's an issue for us. All right. There's that big upper trough in the in the uh, former path of Lee there. And down below that, it just looks like a cloudy, drizzly, cool day. Uh, the, the GFS is showing a high of 64. And that might even be too warm if the clouds hang in there all day. And, and uh, even down in South Alabama, you know, I thought they'd be in sun all day. But it looks like the clouds could uh, be pretty far south if this is right. Mobile and the Gulf Coast might be in the sun. All right, this is uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Everything's kind of lifting out. Uh, we'll say partly sunny and low 70s tomorrow. And remember, we ought to be in the upper 80s this time of the year. This is incredible. Now, uh, there's Friday. This upper low is north of us. Uh, you know, that trough kind of cuts off up there. And uh, for now, it looks like the main light rain with that feature will stay north of us. There's the surface chart Friday. And again, you're going to see some evidence of maybe some light rain up over the Tennessee Valley near the Tennessee border. The rest of the state should be dry and partly sunny. I will say upper 70s on Friday. And that's going to be the deal for the weekend ahead if you got plans. Uh, partly sunny, only a slight chance of a shower. Highs, low 80s. And we note in the tropics, which should be Maria is over there on the right, uh, well north of Puerto Rico. And look at the system in the Bay of Campeche. All right, Sunday, the Bay of Campeche system is moving west. It's going to go into Mexico, so no issue here if this is right. This is just modeling, of course, but I believe that's correct. Uh, Maria is a weak system that is beginning to make the turn north. And again, Sunday around here looks uh, mostly dry with uh, mid-80s as we get back to where we should be. And there's Monday. As we start next week, uh, mid-80s, a good supply of sunshine. Uh, Maria turning north, and there's a week from today. Still got strong troughing over the northeast. That should keep Maria offshore in a recurving track. And down below that, the thing's awfully close to Bermuda, but no impact on the United States, and we're dry as a bone. We'll check the end of the forecast on September 21st. Uh, the, the polar westerlies are up in Canada. This kind of upper feature is off to the west, and again, that looks uh, relatively benign out there. Ooh, I must turn my light back on because, uh, you know, it's easy to forget that sometimes you are in the dark. So uh, let me uh, press my little magic button. I'm sitting in the dark, which I, I look better in the dark if you notice that. Here we go. Well, press the right button and we'll get that light on. There we go. Ah, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.